Who's there? Water. Water who? What a wonderful day it is today! Hello, welcome. Please come in. The Bangkok, Thailand, where a large crowd of people were taking part in anti-government and anti-monarchy protest. Protesters are demanding. The removal of the country's prime minister, changes to the constitution, and reforms to the monarchy, which is normally a taboo topic in the country. Thailand's government has vowed to protect the monarchy. After tens of thousands of pro-democracy protesters rallied, inspired new gathered organizers in Bangkok and other cities over the weekend, as called for a new constitution and calling the, the king's powers continued to grow. They are exposed to social media and have a vast array of news, sources, and opinions at their fingertips, shaping a young political voice which wanted to avoid at all cost the Thai cycle of coups, constitutional rewrites, new governments, and other coups. They have learned from the tactics of Hong Kong's pro-democracy movements and build alliances with anti-Chinese activists in Taiwan. This new generation threatens to attend Thailand's conservative, predominantly Buddhist establishments, and they were complicating U.S. hopes of drawing Thailand, America's oldest ally in the region, away from China's growing spheres of influence. Some Thai officials suspect Washington as aiding the protest, despite U.S. denials. Why the monarchy is important and why it has been with Thailand for centuries democratically elected and any change that should come from parliament, not the street. The protesters arrested that day is the force with following standard operating procedures faced with an illegal gathering that was blocking the road. In that days that horrid, there would be bigger damage, more arrest, and I sure the responses of the government tried to contain the unrest. The damages to the monarchy's last was already done. Dozens of protesters remained on the street, their hands raised and three fingers salutes. When the kings of Remjins went past, they shout a new ballad cry, free our friends, free our friends. In Thailand, a hugely disproportionate chunk of wealth is concentrated in the hands 
of the Antilles elite, where army generals have launched repeated coups to protect their interests. From plotting coups on the past 19 years since Thailand became a constitutional monarchy with an elected government. Since 2014, the Three Fingers salute has become the go-to symbol, and the arm laced three middle fingers reached the first sky by rally public or political party meeting the crowds and the flag shed by activists as they strolled into court or were bundled into police vans. The Thai government, which draws its power from the Thai army and is supported from the country's head of state, faces the youngest, more politically educated adversary with a voice that can be shared with millions. What the protesters may lack in resources and weaponry, they made up with determinations, growing numbers, and the power. Of the simple the three fingers gesture. The three fingers salute. Now adopted by Thai protesters as their go-to symbol and talent round of lollies, the protest against the Thai government and establishment emerged, originally from pop culture. In the Hunger Games movies, franchise the residents of the dystopian future North America forced to compete in the televised death match. For the prejudice of the elite, used the gesture to mean the thanks, admirations, and goodbye to someone they love. The protesters are also taking aim at the talent of the bird, the bird is the monarchy, a frontier recently taboo topic that would never be discussed in polite and polite Thai conversations, let alone be criticized publicly. Up to now. Three fingers salute. Indeed, the entire spectacle of their subject protestings has been kept well away from Thailand's royal families. That was until October, when the schedule that unrooting of the royal motorcade with the queen and the young prince on board dragged the the motorcade directly into the path of the protest gathering of some. Ten thousand people. A protest that had been announced almost a month before, including the date and the location. A number of authoritarian states, which Iron Fist and the leaders have come to the fore in recent years, notably President Putin's Russia, President Xi Jinping China, and President Erdogan in Turkey. The United States has long played the role of championing democracies throughout the world. But since its inception, the Trump administration has crushed repeatedly with democracies and U.S. allies while showing the conciliatory attitude towards such undemocratic countries as Russia and Saudi Arabia. The decline of democracies is expected to continue in the years ahead. Moreover, during the coronavirus crisis. 
Coping with the pandemic has proved easier in China and other countries where heavy-handed policies can be more leniently implemented, and this has emboldened such authoritarian states. As a democratic state, Japan has responded with its free and open Indo-Pacific strategies. In October 2020, the foreign ministers of four countries that shared that idea: Japan and the United States, Australia, India, met in Tokyo and moved by those four democratic powers to curb the maritime advances of authoritarian China. A new U.S. presidential times began on January 2021. America's left light polarization of recent years gained further momentum with President Donald Trump's inauguration on 2017. In Bangkok, Thailand, they have altered the courage, resilience, and the generosity of their spirit, and they marched, they organized it for equality and justice for their lives and for their planets. Protecting democracy takes struggles, it takes sacrifice, but there is a joy in it. And there is progress, because the people have the power to build a better future. Oh yo yo yo. Oh yo yo yo. Oh yo yo yo.